Good morning, everyone. We are on our way north towards a new drainage that we're gonna explore and see if we can go find some really cool skiing and get up on a glacier. Um, I don't know if it's gonna happen, but uh, heading north towards an undisclosed destination. Let's go. Extra shady, but it works. He's going hunting. We're not. We're going exploring. I'm gonna try to make it up to the glacier. If you can't tell, it's springtime in Alaska and uh, snow's melting quick, but there's also really good snow this time of year if you know where to find it. We're gonna go try to find it. We were gonna go out to Valdez for the hill climb and to go get out in the glaciers this weekend, a big group of us, but uh, the wind hit Valdez really hard, which ruined the snow for the most part. Oh man. What do you think about this? Everyone bailed, we're sick. Matt loves it. I love it. He lives for this. Oh yeah. I'm gonna die for this. Yep. <laughs> Look at that rack. So if you're looking to build a snowboard ski rack, this is as cheap as it gets. Two by four cost $86. That's right, $86. <laughs> as cheap as it gets, not anymore. Stuff's expensive. Check out this new camper though. Thing's pretty sweet. Pretty cherry. What'd you get this thing for? 3,500. That's crazy. Inside's all nice. It's in decent shape. If you guys don't know anything about campers, if you ever go to buy a camper one day, the first thing you do right when you walk up to the camper is look at the sidewalls and see if they look straight. If you got any like flexi bowie stuff, there's water damage, and that's at your discretion if there's water damage. It's probably not a wise choice to buy it. But this one's pretty straight. You got lucky. Um, usually if you get a camper that cheap, it's something's up which uh i don't know maybe maybe something is up I really like that mattress under there oh you get a bathroom in this thing no we normally have a bathroom it's just a huge closet which it's i actually kind of prefer because then it's got all the storage, space storage in the world not bad but you could put like a porta potty in there super easy yeah and, and still have storage it's a big like coat closet that you can see it you got like a dinette thing going on that's pretty sweet yeah and then this comes down this plops into here oh nice bed. That's where Steve was gonna sleep till he bailed, Steve. And you get a full-size bed up there pretty much? Yeah, queen, an actual queen. Oh, fridge up there, and see Yeah, that. and then so I, I fired up the fridge last night on <laughs> propane and it's like, it's working. Love how they put the heavy thing way up high. Yeah, totally. That's smart. And then it has access doors to the um, inside of the oh, bed. Oh, nice. So it's you can do those on either sweet. side so you can fill it with yep. stuff. If you actually really still get it out. Yeah. There's plenty of storage here to get like vents in there. I thought about cutting this and putting an oven in. You could. That's what I'd do. I'd cut it right out. Yeah. Cut that out and then put a diesel heater in here and like bam. So you're missing out, Steve. Maybe you're not, but you'll see if you're missing out. More storage outside. What? Outdoor shower? <laughs> yeah. Didn't even know I had it until I opened all these up. Less than four Gs. Water heater. That's so funny. People spend like 80, 100, Hundred fifty thousand dollars in sprinter vans. Eight hundred fifty thousand. Yeah, eight hundred fifty thousand dollars on sprinter vans. Yeah, and I wouldn't even want a van. Yeah. Yeah, and it has all the. Oh, nice. Days. That's smart. Those things get ripped off all the time when they're outside too. That's smart. Yep. Put it inside. There we go. Yep. There's some urine right there. That's cool. He looks hydrated. It's nice and clear. Really like that. Uh. Really like <laughs> what you done with the roof there. But see that. what's cool is these, these Squire Light series are, um, it's a 93, 
It weighs 1,450 pounds. It's pretty light and so for how I'm big it is. upgrade the suspension, but look at my springs. Yeah, we're he's... not even touching the overload. Oh yeah, you're fine. Anyway, we're gonna go out this drainage. We've got about 30 to 40 mile ride one way. If we're gonna get where we're trying to get today. I have no idea what's gonna happen. Let's go. Keep your eyes on the uh, temperature. You might have to do a scratcher eventually. Whew. I might just put them down right now. Yeah, you could, or just one of them at least. Put down like the bent one. I'm just gonna put them both down. I'm not okay. gonna back up. I just remember. I don't even know how to back up. That one's all bent. Let's see? See if we can fix it just a little bit. How do you back up on this again? Is it this button? No. Ah! Oh. Uh. How did that just happen? Oh my god. How did that just happen? <laughs> Cause it was already busted. <laughs> Hate Polaris scratchers. Let me just bend it out of the way. It's gonna stab me or something now. I was trying to unbend it just a little bit. Okay, there we go. Your other one's good. I've got a replacement set in the truck, but I backed up in uh, Valdez and bent it up like really bad and it didn't break somehow. Then it finally did. Yep, did it. That one's down, just don't forget throwing back up. All right, here we go. good ways up the valley at the moment. I think this is the valley where everyone keeps going that way. And I wanna try going up here maybe. I gotta look at my uh, topo map and see what's up. But check out these wolf tracks, this is nuts. These are not dogs. Literally got wolf tracks way out here. Big old paws, it's pretty cool. So we're actually doing pretty good. I checked out the topo map. We get to go right around the big tall pointy mountain on the backside and we're gonna go up this creek drainage and hopefully drop into uh, another big drainage, and then we'll be up to the glacier. Uh, all right, we're moving in. Home, honey. Look at that tarp. I know. It's pretty funny. There's a bunch of signatures and stuff in there. People Whoa. have like written their names all over the inside. Try to just go straight up the fall line. we can get up to the snow it's already getting better this is Aaron's like first real time mountain riding by herself <laughs> oh, I saw that ah! 
It's already getting better. I had that pin down all the way coming out. Oh, yeah. I was like, ah. Oh yeah, yeah, it's a big climb. The snow is good though. Oh yeah. Right here there's blood. And bam. Like bro. <laughs> Just kind of think about the fall line and like you're pretty much good almost like anywhere along the top. You know? Yeah, and I'll probably just go right about where it's Yeah. Right. And it's anywhere in there. <laughs> To get a snowboard running down there in a minute. It, I would be ashamed if you guys yeah. don't see that. I might yeah. try it, but I don't know how my knee. You your knee? knee oh, yeah. You were totally counter sharing up this whole valley, by the way. It was good. Oh, oh. oh. As soon as you start like getting slow and you're not feeling like you're gonna make it, you wanna just do your U-turn when you're like 10 miles an hour. If you get really slow and do it, you'll just tip over. As long as you keep a little bit of speed though, you, uh, high marks really natural. You just like let it steer you back around. He might even go, <laughs> he's, he's just going straight up. Here's Aaron's uh, first hill climb. <laughs> Her first real hill climb, she's just going for it. Yeah, girl, get it! You! <laughs> to go see down there in the valley like that's that's the trail it goes like around to the left i don't know this might just dead end up here i don't know where this goes <laughs>
if you go up the valley, the other side of this mountain is what takes you. The pass is probably like right there. It looks like if we get to the other side, they got a trail. Yeah. checking the man over here see what's going on this guy's been trying to get a gnarly sprinter out from under his fingernail for like the last half an hour <laughs> our homework it went in underneath the fingernail right there. and then all the way through to the other side i've cut it as far back as i can go you know, all you people laughing think it's funny we'll put a splinter up under your fingernail and you tell me how you feel i'm gonna feel good i think it's from this deck like lifting or something, just get a big one in there. I see them all over the place. It's out! Oh, Surgery. <laughs> oh my god. You should eat it. Oh, I feel sick. Yeah. You should have. I can't explain what that felt like to feel that coming out. <laughs> well, that's a wrap, y'all. Smash that button. Subscribe. Say hi. Watch another one with me. Till next time. Be sure.